morning people welcome back to the channel welcome to an early morning as you can see back on the road it's monday morning uh nice and fresh didn't get much sleep yesterday to be honest uh hope people did hope people are all well thank you to everyone that subscribed to the channel thank you to everyone that continues to support the channel i am on my way to pick up a car i am going to some place in rugby um let me show you what man's pulling though wait a minute let me get out of the car do a little walk around and you gotta check this bag got the new transporter here but have a look at this this thing is huge this thing is huge and i'm first time pulling so shit gets sketchy man it gets really sketchy but nevertheless go try these things Two hours later. Right guys, I've made it here and um, this is the most narrow shit. Have a look. So coming through there, I've got this big ass trailer. Bear in mind, first time using a trailer it is bigger than it looks. And I've got going there all the way around. There's gonna be some sketchy stuff. So let's try. Right guys, I am here and um, absolutely narrow roads. Bit sketchy. As you can see, trailer is massive. I've got to be trying doing it, but if he can do it, look at that big ass thing. If he can do that, then I sure can give it a go. Like a little bit of a challenge. Trailer is quite big. I mean, let me show you what it looks like in the mirror. That's how it looks there. That's how it looks there. It is huge. So. Right guys, we've managed to reverse in here. Bit scary, but I've done it. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, guys, I've got a trailer, I've got a van. Uh, the business idea I was telling you people that I'm going to be getting into is transporting vehicles. Reason I've decided to do that is because obviously when you buy vehicles such as the one I'm going to be getting today, it's not drivable, but it's not badly damaged. It's category N. And um, I've decided that obviously I get more variety with the vehicles I get. Plus, um, when I don't have people to take me to pick up vehicles because I've been re relying on a lot of people like my brother, you know to sort of like take me to places where the vehicles are and then i drive the vehicles back plus it's not really worth the risk driving vehicles that you're not really sure about driving home and something goes on you're stuck on the side of the road it's just not worth it so doing the way doing it the way i'm doing it now with the trailer that gives me um reassurance that i can go whenever i win a vehicle to pick up a vehicle in a good timely manner secondly it gives me the you know the opportunity to pick up vehicles that um, potentially can be driven on the road, get them a lot cheaper. Plus, I can get things that I will enjoy a lot more. So, stay tuned. I'm waiting for the vehicle. Once the vehicle comes out, guys, I will do a nice little walk around, show you exactly what I got going on here, and um, this will sort of shed a bit of light to say why I've actually got, got a trailer. Right, guys, this is what we have picked up. Little. Ford. I swear I didn't see that in the thing, but never mind. Looking all right. This is the main damage here, and I don't normally go for cars like this due to the fact that you can't replace that panel, so it has to go to the body shop. But we look like we've got a little bend in there as well, so wheel hub, lower arm, probably uh, suspension. Front is okay. Rest of the car looks good. Is a 2013 1.6 Ford Focus Eco Netic, I think, and uh, she looks really good to be honest. Interior, what have we got in here? Uh, needs a good clean, got a book there. I don't know if there's any service history with it, but we will check. And uh, we do have the plates in there, so that's a bonus. And uh, car mat. She looks pretty tidy to be fair. Bit of mold in the seat, but we'll get a full detail done on it. I think it was a family car reason being it's got one of them things. And because it's got one of them things, you have like a like a little screen maybe, I think. God knows, it's pretty clean anyways, regardless. Let's see if she starts. Let me just close up the van. This is the new beast guys. We have got a van, um, purchased this from our uncle um, just because he wanted to get rid of it. Um, he is leaving the country, so got this here. Nice little box of Vivaro. Does the job, guys. It does the job. Anyways, let's see how this car runs. Let me lock up the van and get inside. Bro, right, we've connected the battery. Let's try and get this. 
That is so, so hard to get out of That oil has seen better days, mate. Definitely has. Okay, put that back. And, uh, one sec. Yeah, there you go, that looks good. Most important thing is, she has got oil. And uh, cooler, as you can see, is pretty much perfect color. So, what a mess, man. Let's see if she starts up, though. <sighs> really moldy in here. Make sure it's in neutral, six speed. Get that on, turn that off. Full tank of diesel. Press the clutch in. Okay. Want to open this? Have a look if there's any smoke. No smoke at all. It smells like a diesel, but no smoke. That's the most important thing. Is there you go. E Econetic technology. Right. Let's see. Just gonna just give it a little reverse. Okay. That should be perfect. Sounds right. <coughs> Engine ticks over pretty good. Right. She seems good to go, man. What do you think? Should I have it a little bit back? I think that's perfect where it is. All right, cool. Let us get her strapped up. Let's get it strapped up and hit the road. So, engine's running absolutely perfect. There was no smoke when I started it up. Tires on it all around are really, really good. We do have, I mean, inside, we do have a bit of wear and tear, but it's to be expected, car is a 2013. We do have a full tank of diesel, which shows that this car was loved at some point. We got uh, auto stop and start, uh, heated windscreen, heated rear screen, and um, air conditioning. It's pretty spec down. It's, it's nice, full tank of diesel, you know, sounds good and the reason i point out the full tank of diesel is is because you know sometimes you get these cars they're put into auction so uh, when you have situations like that with a full tank of diesel you know someone was obviously on the way to work or something and um there wasn't cheap to fill up the tank of diesel and something obviously happened to the vehicle so because something happened to the vehicle you end up in auction so it's not like sometimes you get these cars and they're put into auction because they have engine problems such as the A3 that I got the other day. But all in all, she's good. So let's get it strapped up, guys. These are the color straps I went with. Nice purple. You know, that's sort of my colors. I do like them colors. Brakes on it. Uh, no lips at all on these discs. So really, really good. Pads. Pads absolutely brand new. Hold on, let me get in there. Look at that. Brand spanking new pads. Not even a lift on these wheels. So it should be a good car. Plane looks pretty good on it as well. Um, and again, engine runs perfect. Coolant, again, perfect color. Does need a good oil change though. So let's get this bad boy strapped up. I will turn the engine off. It runs nice. Inside is nice and clean. Uh, headrest is pretty good. Let's get it strapped up and make our way home. Peace. Right guys, she's all strapped up. Look at my handy work. I think I've done a pretty good job. Nice and solid. All around, we're good to go. Just need a piss and I hit the road. Two hours later. Right guys, I made it back safe and sound. Um, so long driving with a trailer and the car in the back. This trailer is so huge and just, just gotta be doing like 50 miles per hour. I'm not that confident because the other day when I was driving with a trailer, and I had the Porsche on the back, it was fishtailing, so yeah, a bit sketchy. However, I'm home, let's get this car unloaded and shoot off to pick up the second car. Shit, don't stop, let's get it done. Right guys, she's there, ready to unload. Let's get in and do it, all on my own.
Fingers crossed.